Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I have seen all your requests regarding lot many questions to be discussed whether they will be challenged or they can be challenged or not. So I thought to include all of them in a single video where we are going to discuss about them. We are going to look upon them that whether these questions can be challenged or not. Okay. So I'll start with this question. This was uh, from the aptitude portion. Question ID is 701016 and the question is a data interpretation question uh, where it says that graph uh, depicts the data of the people drinking alcohol and death per year in the nine villages which of the following can be definitely concluded understand what they are asking they are asking which can be definitely concluded okay from this graph there are four options like drinking alcohol kills percentage of people drinking alcohol is determined by the number of death per year this is totally incorrect alcohol kills people only in the villages that is also you cannot say See what you can definitely say, you can definitely say that when the percentage of people who drink alcohol is 50%, the death per year is 50. It is not mentioned that these deaths are only happening because of drinking of alcohol. Okay, It is just mentioned that the uh, depicts the data of people drinking alcohol and death per year. So don't conclude that these deaths are because of drinking of alcohol. It can be because of accident, it can be of any other reasons. So, you cannot say that drinking alcohol kills people, okay. There can be the reason of death over here which could be something else, right, not only alcohol. So, the only thing which you can say for sure is that in the village where 50% people drink alcohol, 50% people drink alcohol, 50 people die each year. So, 50 people are dying each year. So, what data is saying you that should be the answer, not we cannot conclude things from our own side. So, this is uh, the answer key which they have given also. So, this is correct, okay this is a correct answer key it cannot be uh, it cannot be challenged okay you cannot challenge this question okay so that was the first question again let's take the next one which you guys have asked asked me to discuss about and that is yeah this one regarding jablonski diagram now here again lot of confusion is there among students they uh, this question id is basically 701052 so the answer for this question according to the answer key is option number fourth okay this is the answer key now the basic uh, like problem with the question is that why this one t2 to t1 is given as fluorescence okay that is the question i guess right that's the main thing because this everybody knows that this is inter-system crossing no doubt about it why this is called as fluorescence so understand that in the jablonski diagram the there are two types of transitions one is radiation like uh, radiation less transition okay and one is radiational transition okay radiational transition radiation less may you have internal conversion and inter system crossing right uh, in which you have seen inter system crossing means spin also changes over here internal conversion there is no change in spin and that is radiation less and radiational transition may you have fluorescence okay fluorescence and phosphorescence right now the question is key how to define fluorescence and phosphorescence in books simply it is mentioned s1 s2 or something like that and in phosphorescence t1 to s1 something like that but you have to you don't have to just go with the terms you have to understand the concept in order to answer this fluorescence is a emission spectra or em emission uh, like emission phenomena where a spin does not changes okay the spin does not changes so there should be emission that means a particle should come from higher energy state to lower energy state and the spin should not change so it is in the second triplet state to the first triplet state spin is not changing so that's why this is fluorescence okay this is fluorescence and uh, what is phosphorescence so phosphorescence is also emission okay this is also emission spectra but here is spin changes okay here there is a change in spin so the spin should change from triplet to this is singlet state so triplet to singlet spin is changing so this is phosphorescence so for that reason option 4 is correct it cannot be challenged okay this is again a correct option it cannot be challenged okay cannot be challenged i hope you understood this okay so don't get confused with these two Okay, then there is a question ID 701064. Now, the problem with this question is that it says among the assertions, it is not mentioned A, B, C, D. It is mentioned A, E, F, G, which is a printing mistake. 
of course this is a printing mistake okay but when csir is conducting exam printing mistake is not accept like we don't know na whether it was a b c d or a c b d we don't know that so for that benefit of doubt this question can be challenged okay this can be challenged and how to challenge this question you don't be having any reference for that you just have to take the screenshot of this and you have to mention that the uh, and highlight it okay this just highlight these options and tell uh, write that the options which are mentioned over here are not a b or the statements are not mentioned as a b c d so that's why we don't know which one is what so that's why this question can be challenged okay so this question is one which i found that yes this can also be challenged based upon printing mistake okay that is the thing now again one thing i want to make clear over here the question is that whether someone who will challenge that person only will get marks or others will also get marks okay so see when a question is challenged okay if anybody challenges that question anyone okay if anyone challenges anyone challenges a question and if it is accepted by csir means if x if csir accepts that okay that yes this challenge is correct this the challenge of the question is correct and it was our mistake in that case anyone okay anyone who has attempted that question okay anyone who has attempted that question will get marks okay how much marks if that person will get full marks of that question if it is a four marker question that person will get four marks if that is a um, like uh, three marker question uh, sorry two marker question he will get three marks okay so full marks he will get full marks anyone who has not attempted this question is not going to get any marks neither he is going to lose any marks okay so anyone who has not attempted is not going to get the marks over here understood so this is the process of challenging a question accepting a question accepted getting accepted by csir and then marks how much marks the person will get okay then again one more question i think was there yeah this one okay the question is ki among sf4 clo4 minus fclo3 and if4 plus the number of species having c saw shape so this is question id uh, 10 uh, yeah this is 701063 so the correct answer which is given according to the answer key is option number 1 which is 2 okay understand see i know people are getting confused with it option number 1 is given okay the, the answer which is given in option 1 answer is answer is 2 okay which is correct there are two molecules which are um, which have c saw structure sf4 and if4 plus right so these are the two molecules which have c saw structure so this is again a correct question it is a correct uh, answer and it cannot be challenged okay it cannot be challenged so these were the questions which you guys have mentioned in the answers uh, in the comment section most of the questions like most of the request were for these questions only and i thought of just including all of them in a single video so that you get to know which to challenge and which to not all right so i hope you guys are clear with it let's uh, end this video here thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care Hello everyone. So, if you want to prepare for the upcoming CSIR NET exams, which are probably going to happen in December 2023 and in 2024 exams, so if you want to prepare for them, An Academy is offering a 25% discount on the subscription fees. Uh, after the discount, these are going to be the final prices of the subscription charges. I teach live on An Academy Plus. So, in case if you want to learn from me live in the classes. you can get these subscriptions you can use my referral code that is n underscore ruda to get these uh, discounts offer right so that's it let's crack it